The Revo Tri-5 chassis is really designed for the customer who is looking for a great riding, great handling car um, that isn't necessarily going to do a lot of track stuff, but still wants a car that's going to perform and, and handle like a, a new Corvette would. A Tri-5 chassis has been our most popular chassis since we came out with it uh, almost 10 years ago now. With the addition of the new Revo front suspension to the Tri-5 Chevy chassis, we really expect it to continue to be one of our strongest, most popular chassis. Um, along with the Revo suspension, we address the center cross member that is beefier, adds more structure, uh, still has the exhaust ports for up to three inch exhaust, a dropout trans mount that'll work with any GM automatic or manual transmission, and a mid brace with an integrated drive shaft hoop. We offer this chassis for the Nomads, convertibles, hardtops, sedans, wagons, all models that were available in 1955 to 57. One of the things that sets our chassis apart from the others on the market is the main 4x4 frame rail. This allows the same frame to be used under a convertible as you would under a hardtop or a sedan car and eliminate any of the flex that you would normally have. There are different body mount configurations, but the frame is the same for all models. There's a lot of differences in how we build the frame compared to what others in the industry are using. Um, where others are using bent square tube or miter cut and welded square tube, all of our frame rails are hand built in-house. Start with a inside, outside, a top and a bottom pattern. Those are fixtured in a jig, welded together. This allows us the ability to have a, a formed flowing frame rail that shapes around the car, has visually appealing lines and uh, curves and bends to it something that looks custom that belongs underneath a custom car. The ride height for the Tri-5 chassis is available in two configurations. Our lowered stance, which will put your rocker panels roughly at six inches off the ground, depending on your wheel and tire size. Uh, the option for a two inch raised spindle and our adjustable rear coilover mount gives you the ability to raise the car up two inches if you're looking for more of a stock style stance. Uh, a little bit less aggressive for the guys that want a little bit more of an old school type look. The Revo front suspension allows for an 11 inch brake so it really opens up a new category for uh, a lot of our customers that want to run a 15 or 16 inch wheel and have a little bit more of a traditional wheel fitment on the car while still getting the high end uh, ride quality and performance. Sway bars play an important role in the suspension and body roll of the car. We were able to integrate a one inch spline sway bar in both the front and rear suspension on the Tri-5 chassis. For the rear sway bar, we were able to do a non-invasive spline sway bar by running that through the coilover cross member through the frame rail. This allows for the use of a 12 inch wide wheel with a performance spline sway bar that is virtually unnoticed. Um, the chassis can be set up for any GM engine combination from a small block, big block, or LS motor with no firewall modifications. Um, each chassis is built to order for your specific car, so you're getting exactly what you want in a package that's built just for you. We TIG weld every component on the chassis. Um, TIG welding takes longer, it's harder to do, but at the same time, it's a better weld, it's got deeper penetration, it's visually more appealing, and when it comes time to do the paint body work side of the frame, it's a lot easier to work with. As with anything that we do at the Roadster Shop, we want the look of our chassis to really reflect on the build of the vehicle. If you're building a custom car, you should have something that looks like a custom chassis underneath that car.